Hello my friends, it's Danny, and Back by Popular Demand is my 101 series. So I am updating an oldie but a goodie and sharing everything you need to know about colored greens, how to shop, store, prep, and cook them. Plus, I'm gonna share one of my favorite collard green recipes and highlight a few others as well. As I've shared before, dark leafy greens are the number one ingredient missing from the American diet. So I am always looking for ways to work them onto our plates. And I think it's a really fun experiment for anybody to try different types of leafy greens so you can find ones that you'll like and recipes that you enjoy so it becomes really easy to make it a part of your regular diet. Collard greens are a beautiful dark leafy green that is a part of the cruciferous family. So it's related to vegetables like broccoli, cauliflower, and cabbage. It's high in beta-carotene, fiber, B vitamins, vitamin C, and it's a powerful source of plant-based calcium. So it's really great if you're on a vegan or vegetarian diet. They are available at the grocery store all year round, but their peak season is the winter and the spring. So this is when they're probably gonna be the most beautiful, the most vibrant, the most nutritious, the most delicious, and usually the best cost. So when you're shopping for your collards, you wanna look for leaves that are really bright and vibrant. They should be nice and firm and perky and beautiful. You of course wanna avoid anything that looks like it's dried up or it's wilting. Now most collards are pretty good size, like this is a pretty big leaf, but I try to avoid the really over over supersized leaves because they tend to be kind of tough. I find that the smaller medium sized leaves tend to be a little bit more sweet and a little more tender. Once you get your collards home, you wanna store them in an airtight bag in the fridge. I usually just use the bag that you get in the produce section. Make sure there's no air in it, tie a little knot on the top, and this will stay good in your fridge for up to five to seven days. Now, once you're ready to use your collards, give them a rinse under some cold water, and then once they're nice and clean, you wanna take the stems out. Now you can see there's this big thick stem that runs through the center of the leaf, and while they can be a little tough, they are edible. So what you wanna do is cut them out. So what I do, you can do this one two ways. You can either fold the leaf onto itself and then just trace along the outside of that stem and cut it right out and you would have your stem or you could leave it open, the leaf open, and then just trace along the stem on both sides and remove it. Either way, once you have that stem out, I like to chop them nice and small because you can saute them and they are completely edible. They just need a little more cooking time than the leaf. And then I take the leaf, fold it over on itself, roll it into a fat cigar, and then make nice thin slices. This is gonna create long, beautiful collard green ribbons, just like this. Now a little side note for my meal preppers out there, if you wanted to prep your collards as soon as you got them home from the grocery store, you could do all of this, put them in an airtight container lined with a paper towel to absorb any extra moisture, and they will happily last in your fridge for up to a week. So if you want them ready to go and on hand, do this when you get them home. Collards can be braised, steamed, sauteed, or stir-fried, and you can also eat them raw. Actually, I have seen a lot of people will use the entire collard leaf as a sandwich wrap or to make a vegetable wrap. It looks super delicious. I have not done that myself, although it is on my to-do list. But in the meantime, what I will do is a link to a video down in the description box below of somebody else on YouTube who gives a great uh, tutorial for that. Collards pair really well with other flavors like onions, garlic, bacon, tomato, and eggs. You could also easily add them into a big pot of chili or soup if you wanted to work some dark leafy greens in that way. Or if you wanted to go like super simple, you could marinate them in a little bit of olive oil and lemon juice, a big fat pinch of kosher salt, maybe a squish of garlic, and have a light green salad. So good and so many options. I've actually shared a handful of delicious collard green recipes with y'all in the past. My healthy artichoke and collard green dip. It's a fun play on like a spinach dip. Roasted spaghetti squash with garlicky collard greens. And I cannot forget about the most classic, my black eyed peas and collard greens. If you guys wanna check out any of those recipes, I'll link them down below. But I also wanted to share one of my favorite side dishes using collard greens and that is sauteed collard greens with onions and raisins. It is so good and it's really easy to make. So what you're gonna do is get a nice big saute pan heating up over a medium heat, add a little bit of olive oil to the pan. Once that's heated through, I'm adding in two onions that I've cut into half moons along with a pinch of kosher salt. 
I'm gonna let the onions cook for about 15 minutes or so. You just wanna cook them until they start to develop a nice light golden brown color. If your onions begin to burn or they're getting too dark too fast, just turn your heat down a bit. This is kind of a low and slow cooking process. Once your onions have arrived, like mine have here, you can see the beautiful brown color on them. Then I'm gonna add in my chopped collard stems and three cloves of chopped up garlic. Mix that all together, let that go for about five minutes. We're really just giving the stems a head start so they can soften up a bit. And then we're ready for the leaves. So I'm adding in some beautiful collard ribbons that I cut up from one bunch of collard greens, along with some water, about a third of a cup of water, and I'll season with a little bit more salt and pepper. I like to use tongs to kind of mix this all together, get all of the ingredients going. And what's gonna happen is you're gonna see these greens are gonna wilt down very quickly. They're gonna be a beautiful, vibrant green color, and they're gonna soften up a bit. It's gonna take about five to 10 minutes. Once this is happening, and you've got it looking just like mine looks here, then I'm gonna finish it up with a couple tablespoons of raisins. And I just let it go an extra couple minutes for those raisins to plump up and heat through. There's just something about the play of the savory onions and the grassy green with that sweet pop of the raisin. It's like a little party in your mouth. I highly recommend serving this alongside some simply baked or roasted salmon or maybe your favorite chicken dish. It really is such a delicious side and easy enough to make any night of the week. So now that you guys know what to do with collard greens and you have so many ways to work them into your kitchen, I'm so excited to hear what you think you're gonna try first. Come on down to the comments below and please let me know. And when you get in the kitchen and start cooking up your collards, be sure that you snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and on Facebook so I can see all of the clean and deliciousness you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers. It's high in beta carotene fiber, B vitamins and vitamin C, plus it's a powerful plant-based source of calcium. Beta carotene fiber, B vitamins, vitamin C. Ready? Yeah. <clears throat> it's high in beta carotene fiber, B vitamins, almost there, ready?